Hi friends, Allison here with AJ's Inspired Life and we are catching up, we're almost current. So, um, I wanted to do a flip through of my Fobonichi for the month of March for the first half and that will bring us pretty current. So, um, for those of you that are new here, welcome and so glad you found me. And um, if you've been around a while, this is the continuation of my Fobonichi daily junk journal, whatever, um, in a smash book. I change my books fairly frequently and change sizes. And um, for February and now March, um, I am in the smash book, which has its pros and cons. So we'll go through that. So if you want to see my February pages, if you like what you see here and you haven't seen those, go ahead and um, they're the last two videos. So you can go back and find those. All right. So let's start with March and let me make sure I have you here. All right. I did not do like I kind of just said goodbye to February here um, with a calendar cut out, obviously. And then I didn't do like a welcome to March page or whatnot. I wasn't sure how many pages I was going to need for this month just because we were planning on doing some traveling and whatnot. And um, and so I, I just started the month. Okay, so here we go. So March 1st was a Sunday. And this collage, any of this um, stuff here is from Loveland's Life. And I'm one of her Patreons, and so you get free printables, um, or printables if you join Patreon. Um, and so I I just put those in to add a little, you know, extra to the pages. These are quick, quick pages. So um, I grabbed a big sticker here from Planet Fitness, and I wrote, um, I canceled my membership today. I never use it anymore since my daughter drives to practice. I only had it because um, on the days I was driving to practice, which changes and was sometimes more than once a week and you know, all the variables um i can't go to my gym and so i was frustrated with that so for the last couple of years on the nights i drove to soccer i just pop into the planet fitness do whatever workout i can do there it's been great i really um i really liked it um it worked for what i needed for those days so anyway um but i went ahead and canceled it i'm just trying to clean up stuff um and you know get things off the automatic bill and all that kind of stuff. And since I don't use it, it's not worth it. Um, my daughter did have a soccer game today. They lost, but she played well. They didn't score any points. So again, it's a tough season. So, but she played really well and had, um, had some really great saves. So, um, I put this here because I had done some art journaling today and, um, I just put that in there as kind of a reminder that that's what I spent some of my day on. I did go to the gym this morning to um, Orange Theory, and I didn't write my calories and whatnot, but I obviously went to the 7 a.m. class. Okay, the next day is Monday. This is just like, um, I don't know, off of, you know, one of the Happy Mail, Happy Mail, Happy Planner pages, the calendars. Um, I actually like the edges. I think they're kind of cool. So if I cut out an image or something and I have a little extra, sometimes I'll add it on. And um, so I went to the gym. There's my points. I did mark the weather this morning. It was 40 degrees, high of 49. I had some tea this morning. I'm kind of trying to decrease the coffee intake. And um, my daughter drove herself to practice. And, um, you know, still kind of getting used to that. It's about 45 minutes and it does involve a freeway and a couple other things. And so it's, yeah, so it's a big deal. And I cooked stuffed peppers for dinner. I made half vegetarian and half with turkey meat in it because um, some of our family is trying to be vegetarian and some of them aren't. <laughs> I did do red light therapy. Uh, I just put I'm not too sure about it yet and then but willing to keep trying it. Um, this note is from the bank. I um, closed my business account today. I put mixed emotions, but it feels good to streamline. I closed my um, private practice. Excuse me, I was trying to think um, last year. And so I don't use this account anymore. So I just, again, trying to streamline, trying to get things cleaned up. Um, and then tonight we watch the Olympic trials for the marathon. We love the Olympics, anything Olympic related. We love all the sports. And so it was really fun to kind of watch. That it was pretty amazing actually. Um, anyway, so that was fun to watch. And I do know, and maybe I'll go back and write a note here. I do know, like, I remember watching this now I remember watching this and the marathon after this, um, I believe was in China. It was the, I'm not too sure. It was one of the other qualifiers, maybe Tokyo. I'm not too sure. Um, 
and they were talking about the coronavirus and asking, they had cut the field down to only their elite athletes that qualified. Um, so this is a regular marathon, like people could run and then the elite athletes were using it as a qualifier and they had cut down like thousands and thousands of runners weren't allowed to participate. And they had asked that people not come out on the street to cheer, which didn't really happen. But I remember it now and I might, I might go back and note it knowing where we are now with world events and coronavirus. So maybe I'll do that there because that definitely stood out to me there. Um, okay, so Tuesday, um, the third, um, this was a meme I saw, and this isn't the whole thing. It was like bigger, but when it printed on my sprocket, it printed short. But if you don't like the language, I'm, a, I'm sorry. I, it's, um, this is the beginning, I remember, of the hysteria here. Like, it was getting a little nuts. And so, um, this was the beginning. I'm trying to make sure I have you guys. Yeah. Um, anyway, that was it. So, I just, I thought it was hilarious. And um, this is like the hysteria of the people here, which was from a coloring book. I don't know. Um, and then I put, I had a great massage today. Really good work on my shoulder. And then I went to Walmart Oh, this is why I put this here. I went to Walmart to return an item that like I had bought, I don't even know, uh, whatever, two months ago or something. I wasn't even thinking, you guys, this is how much it wasn't even registering with where we're at, really. Um, it was insane. Like, I only go to Walmart maybe three times a year anyway, so it's normally a little insane for me, but it was insane. Um, the coronavirus is causing panic in people. Literally no toilet paper or Lysol. The store was almost empty. Like people were nuts and um, carts full of stuff. Like just anyway, it was, it was crazy. Um, then on the other hand, you know, my daughter and her friend volunteered at the STEAM event at um, the elementary school. I love that they're helping the younger kids. So like the elementary schools had their science night and, um, people from the community or high schoolers go and volunteer and like do a table or a craft or an activity related to science. Right. And so it's so cool to see them go back and like help and be with the kids. And like, this is so, so normal and just so sweet. And, um, I put the future looks bright. I just love that. I just love that they, you know, enjoy doing that. And they remember as elementary kids, you know, having those nights and having high schoolers and college kids even come back and help, um, where we did it. Um, we grew up in California. Um, we always had pie night at school, um, for March 14th. So, which was a huge, huge event and a math night and so much fun for the kids. So I just love, I just love that. Um, and then this is just crazy and hysteria. So it was a very weird, um, plus I worked, I didn't even put that down, but anyway, and I went to the gym. All right. So Wednesday, the fourth gym, um, I put start each day with a grateful heart. <laughs> this is me. I just cut this out of some magazine and I just thought it was funny, like kind of taming the beast, you know, and I just put note to self and then taming the chaos. I worked, um, all day getting notes and business stuff done. I had a staff meeting, all I want to do is the sessions, um, the computer and notes and billings, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I was trying to get a handle on like all of that. And it's just, that could take up a majority of my day if I let it. So again, here's a little piece of that same tab from up here. I just kind of put it in there. I like that. This is another piece of Lynn's um, collage. I'll link her below. Um, and I like things kind of hanging off my edges like this, as you guys can tell. So um, you know, obviously if you wanted to cut it, you just, you just would. So, um, oh, I went to the cell phone store after work and I met my son and, um, we got new cell phones. We got, um, it was just time. We hadn't got cell phones in years. So, um, we had to take care of that. All right. The next day is Thursday. And, um, I put a little five right there. You can see it. This was already on the page. So I did very little, I did very little on this page. So I worked nine to one. I went to the gym I don't know what this even means. Oh, yes, I do. Met with a travel agent to try to decide on a graduation trip. So this has all changed since then. That's why I was like, vacation? Hmm. Yeah. So um, we in our family and my cousin's family do a graduation trip when the kids graduate high school and our two families go together. And so we've been trying to decide where to go uh, to celebrate because my son's graduating. All right. Friday uh, the 6th, I... Um, 
I know that this is new washi this day. So, oh, right there, because I went to Michael's. I was like, I either got it this day or this day. So, um, and it already had this, you know, line on here and the line. So I just used it pretty plain, pretty basic page. But anyway, hit the gym. Um, it's almost harder to make the seven than the 5 a.m. class. No joke. Um, because other people are up in my house, right? And then it's, you know, engaging in stuff and doing whatever at 5 a.m. I just roll out of bed and go. So, um, I think that's funny because I am not a morning person as anyone that knows me can tell you. Um, but I'm telling you, it was a push to get to that 7.15 and the 5 a.m. Like I said, it's just automatic. You just, you just go. So, um, I went to PT after the gym. It feels good. And my shoulder, um, suction cups. Oh, I put, and my shoulder is healing. She put suction cups on my shoulders. She taught me how to do it myself, which is really cool. And so I'm going to start trying that, uh, in between my sessions, um, because we're going to decrease my sessions at PT. Um, so anyway, that's pretty cool. And I went to the bank and deposited the paycheck and, um, the weather is cold and rain, lots of rain and I'm ready for sun. So I went to Michael's, um, oh my gosh, I got three sticker books for $20. You guys, they were totally on sale. Um, they were so cool. So I'll show you like this one. Okay. So this, these are the ones I got. If you haven't seen them. So they're like the happy planner ones, right? Obviously different color schemes. They had different, they have different ones also. I got another one before and I got a duplicate of, I think this one, cause I'm going to um, happy mail it. Okay. Um, and then I went to red light. <laughs> I always fall asleep. It's 20 minutes and I'm out cold. Boom. So I just, I crack up at that. And then, oh my gosh, I got a bill today that is from last year that the insurance didn't pay. And I was so mad because that's just money that was not in the budget to pay that. And I was just frustrated at that. But anyway, I ended up paying that. And, and then I got my daughter her cell phone tonight because she couldn't go with my son and I the other night. And then we brought home um, teriyaki from the little place in town. All right, Saturday the 7th um, was daylight savings time. So I noted it here. Um, <laughs> spring forward one hour, one hour less sleep. And, um, oh, my husband came home tonight. So, hmm, he must've been gone. Shoot. I'll have to go back and find that, but he came home tonight. Um, oh, I, never mind. I know what happened here. Sorry. All you have to do is read the journaling, Allison. My goodness. Um, okay. So I went to the gym this morning. I put this stamp here because, um, this is my stamp that I have. It's an old one from Michael's. I got it a long time ago to denote like sunny days, but, um, we stamp, we were having a competition at the gym and they had a stamp and then it ran out or whatever. And then they started using the stamp. And so I think it's just so cute that every day on my chart, I use the same stamp. And so I was like, Oh, I'm going to note it there. So that's why that's there. Um, my son went up to Orcas today, uh, for the first high school regatta. And then my husband went to work and headed up there, which is like, I want to say two and a half hours, three hours away. Um, sailing anyway. So my son ended up sailing with a sub since his regular crew is sick. Um, and they're heavy in the boat. So boat racing, you know, um, obviously has to do with skill and, and, lots of technical stuff. It also has to do with how much weight you're carrying in the boat. And so, um, my husband and his, my husband, my son and his regular crew know their weight fairly well and you know what they can manage with the winds and whatnot. And so, um, to sub in someone at the other moment, they're both pretty, um, you know, pretty big boys. And so anyway, um, so he didn't do as well as he wanted, but, um, cause it was super light wind, which is hard for him. But anyway, he did great. But my husband came home tonight. He was going to stay the night up there um, and he ended up driving all the way home because they looked at the weather and thought maybe that the next day they weren't going to have any real racing or really light wind again. So um, that's why that note's there. I drove um, Rio to soccer um, against Oregon. Um, they came home with the wind today and my daughter played the whole game. So that was super exciting because the girls were so excited. They so are ready to have that winning season again. So Sunday the 8th. Um, Again, gym in the morning. Um, I put a note here that says leap and the net will appear. Um, that's for my daughter. You guys, that's my dog scratching at my door because he hears me and now he wants in. So I just put little tabs in terms of what's going on. So um, 
soccer game at 11. We went to lunch in the market. I did red light and then I got my lashes done. So I put a big eyeball here and, um, I'm trying it. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. I went to a new person that someone recommended. So, um, day seven at the gym. Oh, seven at gym. I don't know. Yeah. 7 AM feeling good, but tired. Oh, day seven in a row at the gym feeling tired today. My husband and I went to a soccer game. She played half today. They brought home another win. Um, and then we went to lunch at Panera and then my daughter went to study group to work on their project. My son, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so hilarious. Okay. My son, they play second overall and they're the top qualifiers for district in the regatta. So it worked out really well. It was a really great weekend. Okay. So I put the boy found this couch and drove it all the way up to the regatta. This was on the side of the road. It's like a little leather two seater. And my son picked it up and put it in his car and drove it up to the regatta. And then they brought it out and they were like watching the races from it. <laughs> He's just so funny. I just, I just love that. I don't know. He's found his people and they're quirky and just, he's just loving this senior year. So, um, and then we were all home for dinner and I put, I love it when all my family's home and a little home sticker. So, okay. The ninth, um, hit the gym in the morning coffee. Um, Oh, so this is spirit week at the gym. It's our last week of our, um, challenge. So every day is a different dress up day, if you will. And so today was crazy sock day. And then I did laundry today. This is like from a maybe real simple or mantra magazine, one of those little art pictures. So I did laundry. I put like four loads. I hit the gym. It looks like I didn't do red light. Mm, not too sure. I cooked dinner and I did not pay the bills and I got a lot of vacation info done, but not like done done. So I put this little tab here. This is from Loveland's Life also. This is what inspired me in the beginning to actually make some of my own of these a long, long time ago. I just love her creativity. Um, and then I just put adulting and then this is hers too. So to do, and then lately I watched, um, Schitt's Creek. It was hilarious. You guys, I totally been binge watched this like over, you know, how long I don't know, but, um, someone recommended it to me or posted something. And I was like, Oh, I haven't even heard of that. And I'm like, <laughs> it's like, Oh, I just, I just loved it. I just, I just thought it was really well done and just funny. And it's not normally my, type of show maybe maybe is why I hadn't even known about it but I'm really glad someone recommended it and then I watched um the movie freaks and it was bizarre like I don't I don't need to watch that again do you hear my dog mm -hmm. okay stay there buddy okay Tuesday was the 10th I hit the gym another um label here I just put a quote here. There's nothing more addictive or incredible in life than reinventing yourself and allow yourself to be different every day this is like, um, I'm pretty sure I put this on my board at work. Um, every, every week I try and change the, the quote on my board or whatever. And I just, I fell in love with that one. So, uh, work vote and vacation plans today we voted, um, and we mail in our votes here. So I put my, um, a little thing here from a different envelope, but I did vote today. So excited about that. Cause I missed the last one. All right, Wednesday the 11th, I used my date stamp here to um, to do that. So, so, you know, all my dates are different, like one of these Smash Book, Smash Company things. So, uh, Spirit Week, okay, so wait, what was today? Tuesday at the gym was, oh, Sports Day. So we wore sports attire for Spirit Week. Wednesday was, on Wednesdays we wear pink. And um, so that was kind of cool because everybody was like, pinked out. It was kind of funny. Uh, went to the gym. There's my things there. This is, oh, there we go. Um, this is a box. I don't know if you can still see it. Like, um, I have it here actually holding something else, but this is like a, a little box, right? That, um, and this was the top that I get my plunder jewelry in. If you guys don't know what plunder jewelry is, um, comment or whatever. I have a a friend that sells it and I just love it. It's like totally affordable and, um, so cute. I just, I just love it. And they had a super, super sale. And so I had picked, um, I had picked up my order at her house last night. So I just used that as a pocket and made a pocket and used my project life cards here. So, um, this one says I was able to do red light. Um, after work, I got my nails done and picked up my plunder order. Love it. Uh, because we're going on vacation, so I'm spending a little bit of 
like this was a self-care week a little bit. So I had my lashes done. I got my nails done. This is the nails. Um, and then the next day I get my hair done. So um, great workout. It makes such a difference to have my heart rate. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if you are an Orange Theory person, you know that heart rate monitor is what kind of you monitor with. Um, when you start, they give you like a base heart rate, like just based off of whatever. Um, after you've gone for so long, they recalibrate it, right? To see your specific heart rate and your norm. Okay. So I had it done. Like I recalibrated it after my 20 workouts or whatever that I was allowed to do. And they noted it in there and I noted it in my journals and in my workout journal specifically. Um, and then I noticing like whatever day that my max heart rate is the same. So that's how they calibrate. Like if you, if you're in the orange zone or the red zone, or if you're overworking or underworking or it's all based on your heart rate. And so I'm noticing my heart rate, my hundred percent is still the same as it was. Um, and so I went up and I asked her and she's like, Oh, we have it noted here. We just didn't change it. Like in the system. I'm like, Oh my gosh, could you please push that button for me now? And so they did. And so this week, or this day at least, I don't know how many days, but this is definitely a day I remember the first day, I think. Um, my, you know, my entire experience is different. So I'm I'm having to work much harder because my heart rate was adjusted by 21 points up. And so I'm having to work much harder to get the workout, to get into the orange, to get into the red, which, which makes sense because before I was like completely in the red, um, all the time. And I'm like, this doesn't even make sense. I'm still talking while I'm running on the treadmill. So anyway, um, it makes such a difference. That was a huge side blurb. Sorry about that. Um, you people don't even care, but <laughs> that's my, that's my OTF life. All right. Uh, I put stu stupid short day, no clients, um, no daycare because of the coronavirus. And I put a, <clears throat> so, um, I still had to go in for a staff meeting. Yuck. Ah! So, um, so I stayed home today because my clients all canceled because they don't have daycare because the daycares are now shorting, shutting down. Um, and anyway, um, so that was kind of the first major day here. All right. The next day is Thursday, the 12th. Um, and then I, I put my first like official note in here, like coronavirus, COVID-19, OMG, and kind of a map world page. Um, we got noticed today that our schools are going to be closed for six weeks minimum and maybe indefinitely. Um, and that was the first big like notice to us. So at this point, um, and then I wrote, I wrote like a thing in here, um, blah, blah, blah. It's all about like kind of my, they're going to be closed for six weeks. Um, they're supposed to be doing their work at home. They're supposed to go in on Monday. It's now it's going to impact. I know it impacts the world. I'm just documenting my experience, right? So this is just my reaction in my journal about my life. So, um, I put minimal, um, it's supposed to say first world problems. Um, but like AP tests are being impacted, graduation, our trip, travel, everything for my senior, you know, just all of that. So um, I said, as for now, we will go to Oregon tomorrow as planned and pray the kids make wise decisions while we're gone. Um, I enjoy our friendship and will continue to pray for this pandemic to be cleared and normal life to return soon. So that was that. I got my hair done today. Like, so it's weird because like there's all these major changes, but there's still things. I went to the gym today. I know for sure. And I didn't note it. Um, today was eighties day at the gym, got my hair done. Um, my husband went to the store for the weekend and I put, it's like the world is ending. Like he just went to get normal food, um, for the kids to eat. And he, he was nuts. He was sending me pictures. The lines were like all the way back to the end of the store. People were just like piling stuff in there, you know, and we live in a relatively small town. And so, um, it's just, it's just interesting. So, um, I did binge watch Netflix and YouTube. Um, I packed and paid bills, um, and I started laundry. All right. The next day is Friday the 13th. I just put some watercolor on the back of this page and, um, 
a sticker, obviously. Today was luau day at the gym. And um, there's my calories and my splats. Um, some stuff I packed and... Um, and I just put so excited to have a relaxing weekend with our crew. Adventure awaits. This is like from one of those daily calendars. I said, uh, my husband and I didn't leave till about 10, but we were able to drop off my daughter's car to be looked at. I hate car problems. Oh my gosh. This is like in a movie, this would like have music and it would be like foreshadowing. <laughs> Um, but we had a great relaxing drive down. We had to wait a little bit to connect with them when we got to the Airbnb, but so glad to be here and so grateful for these friendships. So, um, gosh, there was three couples that went and one, two, three, four of the six of us have known each other. Um, well, two of us have known each other since elementary school. Four of us have known each other since middle school five of us since high school and anyway so it's just we're long-term friends it's it's very sweet um here is um so for friday i did a two-page spread okay so um here is the map this is like the route we took down we drove down we're like way up here but anyway we drove down from oregon here or down from washington and so i like to kind of note that and where we were so i cut that out and tipped that in and then um, I just cut this out of like, you know, a magazine, those tourist magazines. I said we had a great time catching up with everyone, decided to head into town for dinner, which was amazing. Uh, then we went to the market together afterwards. Interesting this year since many of us are working out and eating clean. So um, normally this is like a weekend where we're like piling stuff in the grocery cart and whatnot. And um, three of us and definitely um maybe four of us are really trying to eat clean and like uh, do challenges at gyms and whatnot and so our choices were very different so that was interesting and like no no craziness at the little market we went to like plenty of food no and we were in a really really tiny small market by the you know by the seashore so just just interesting um the kids had a great day my daughter went to friends up to seattle um went to dinner and then the boy took his boat up to Seattle. And so they're having to stay home and then um, they're able to like go socialize and do a couple things and then like come back home and not not interact in big groups or do any of that. So that's uh, that's how that week that day went. All right. The 14th is um, is Saturday and I put I miss Pi Day. I should have been a teacher. Um and I'm not too sure about that all the time, but there's definitely days like I just, I love Pi Day. As I mentioned before, we used to do so much fun things when the kids were younger and, um, and they just don't do anything now. It's just, it's just sad. Like high school's kind of like not exciting. <laughs> so anyway, I just put that there. My, um, anyway, so it just made me think of Pi Day. So, uh, this is a receipt. We were in Oregon and, um, bought something at that store. I had a fun day, walked on the beach, great lunch at the shack where we ate last year. I had, um, steamed oysters and just yumminess, steamed clams. Um, and then we went glass blowing. It was so cool. Um, and then this is a card from the tattoo store where I almost got a tattoo. I said, I've been wanting a tattoo for a long time. I almost did it, but couldn't decide um, and so touched by my friend's tattoo that she got. She got a very, very sweet tattoo that I did not know. And it was a surprise. Um, her son had asked me, my godson had asked me to like write, we have a nickname for each other. And, uh, he said, could you, you know, auntie, could you please, um, write this a bunch of times? I'm making a scrapbook for mom for her birthday. And I want to like add in like a, a cutout for me or something. I don't even know. I was like, sure, you know, no problem. And so I wrote it a bunch of times in like different ways or different. And when we got up to Oregon or down to Oregon for, for us, um, she had it tattooed on her arm. It was so thoughtful. It was just so sweet. It touched me. So, but she has a lot of tattoos and I obviously don't. And so anyway, um, and then my husband and I were going to get matching anyway, it's just been, anyway, that's the tattoo story. So, but I love their card. I thought that was pretty cool. So I put that in there one day. Um, okay. This is the pamphlet from the um, glass blowing. And this is actually the lady that did it with us. This is actually her daughter a couple years ago, but this is the store. And this is, we actually did it. Like we rolled the glass, we blew the bulb. It is stunning. I had so much fun. 
Um, and so there's, there's a little card. I tipped it in and just put it that way. And then this was just a thing from, you know, the travel magazine or whatnot for where we were that day and just enjoying it. All right, one last day. So Sunday was the 15th. We're still in Oregon. I These are from the magazines, super thin, as you guys know, and I used wet glue on here, which I don't always do. I don't, I just use whatever glue I have, um, but you can see it's super wrinkled. So I should have probably used the glue stick on these, but that's okay. Um, I just cut out, this was like a piece of a circle that I made and I just tipped it in, or not tipped it in, but cut it out that way to kind of, um, I just wrote beautiful day on the coast. We had a great walk on the beach, went to see the sea lion caves, um, drove to the lighthouse. It says it's the most photographed lighthouse, I think in the U S which I'm not too sure. Like, I feel like that's weird, but that's, that is what it is. That's fine. Um, and this was already on the page. It says you got some real gems there. And, uh, this page had gems on it, obviously, but I thought it was so sweet. Cause it just reminds me of my friends and the wonderful weekend we had. And it said no bad vibes. And I think um, we commented multiple times like through the weekend of like how grateful we are to, you know, not only have girls that get along and guys that get along, but we have couples that get along and like no bad, nothing like just in, and, and to have the friends and not only be able to say they're friends, but to be able to travel together and live in a house together and do money and share bills, you know, not share bills, but you know, split bills. Um, just like no bad vibes. It was just lovely. We just all needed it. So that was like a selfie we took. I just thought it was funny. And then this was a sticker that I had. Um, and that's where we'll end. So that's, that's, we're on our trip to Oregon and that's where we'll end. So we're halfway through March and we're all caught up. So I hope you guys um, are doing well. I hope you guys are um, maintaining during this uh, coronavirus quarantine and staying safe and um, doing things that, um, you know, bring out your creativity and your, and your mental health. If you need to talk to someone or, you know, something, please reach out. And I know isolation can be hard for some, I know for some of us, it, it's not, and we could stay in our craft room all day and, and be just fine. So, um, partly because we have this connection, like through things like YouTube, which I'm always super grateful for. And I'm, you know, grateful for your connection. And, um, for those of you that, you know, we call friends and just all being in a place where we can encourage each other and, um, you know, help inspire each other. So thanks for being here, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.